So, Raspberry is booting up with Venus OS. We wait for the prompt. This can take some time because it's it's a rather old Raspberry. It's a Raspberry 2 revision 1.1. One, one. Can't really see through that, but it's it's there. One gigabit of RAM. Plenty of time. Eventually, eventually we get the prompt. When we have it, there it is. We remove or we move the headless or we rename the headless file to headless off. So we get the UI on the local screen. We reboot again. And while it's rebooting, take really some time. I'll show you how it's connected. We have the USB C to USB A adapter from the tablet going into the Atomos Connect 4K, which is a HDMI to USB A adapter. From there, we have a short HDMI cable that goes directly into the Raspberry. And of course, for the newer Raspberries, you would need a micro HDMI to HDMI um, adapter or cable, but it should work nevertheless. So what we see here is it's starting. We should actually see the um, the UI, uh, the UI, the starting screen soon. That is always um, shown before the actual UI, the interactive UI is uh, presented. It could take maybe a minute or two. And I also had the issue once that I had to reboot it because it didn't show the screen, but on the next reboot it did. As it seemed, um, I could type in reboot from my keyboard without seeing a prompt, but this time it just worked. And you can see we have the complete, uh, complete um, UI. We go into the settings and from there we could actually get super user access, which we here already have, but normally you just keep on um, pressing the right key, the right arrow key here, and then you would be prompted um, for, a, for a password here. So you could actually SSH into it. And when you're done, you can actually reboot the whole thing again and do whatever you want to do. And um, maybe you want to switch it back to, to headless mode because normally you're better off with the prompt here instead of this UI, which probably no one would see anyway. So this is it from this short video. Booting a Raspberry Pi for its initial setup uh, in Venus OS to get an external SSH access.